The idea of staying away from people with no money can stem from various perspectives, but it's important to approach this topic with sensitivity and balance. Here are some reasons people might advocate for distancing themselves from those who are financially unstable, followed by counterpoints to provide a well-rounded view. Reasons some might advocate for distance. One, financial stability and growth. Surrounding yourself with financially stable individuals might encourage similar habits and mindsets. If you are focused on growing wealth, being around those who understand financial management can be beneficial. Two, avoiding financial burdens. Associating closely with individuals who are struggling financially might lead to situations where you feel pressure to lend money or support them financially. This could strain relationships and your own financial stability. Three, influence and habits. People tend to adopt the habits and mindsets of those they spend the most time with. If you are surrounded by individuals who don't prioritize financial growth or stability, it might influence your own approach to money. 4. Energy and motivation. Financial struggles can sometimes bring stress, negativity, or a scarcity mindset. Being around people who constantly focus on financial lack can drain your energy and potentially affect your motivation and outlook on your own financial goals. Counterpoints to consider. 1. Empathy and support. Money doesn't define a person's character or worth. Staying away from those who are financially struggling might prevent you from forming meaningful connections and offering support where it's needed. 2. Learning opportunities. People in difficult financial situations often have valuable lessons to share about resilience, creativity, and problem solving. These lessons can be beneficial for your own personal and financial growth. 3. Community and relationships. Building a strong, diverse community includes individuals from all walks of life, regardless of their financial status. Strong relationships are based on mutual respect, trust, and support, not just financial standing. 4. Opportunities to give back. If you are financially stable, you have the opportunity to help others improve their situation through mentorship, advice, or even financial assistance. This can be fulfilling and lead to positive changes in your community. Conclusion, while it's understandable to want to surround yourself with people who are financially stable, it's equally important to recognize the value in all individuals, regardless of their financial situation. Rather than simply staying away from people with no money, it might be more beneficial to assess relationships based on shared values, mutual respect, and the ability to positively influence each other's lives. Balance is key. Focus on your financial goals while also being compassionate and supportive of others.